fountain of life. A collection of live recorded sermons from His Grace Bishop Emilianos Maloa aiming to make us fountains of the Holy Spirit. Here is today's message. First of all, to convey the paternal blessings from our Archbishop Makarios of Australia, who did not make it to be with us today because his schedule is very heavy. And just to say a few words about today's gospel. We heard in the Holy Gospel today about two miracles. The resurrection of the daughter of Iros and the healing of a lady who was continuously bleeding And this made me wonder, how can we pray in a way that we will be heard? How can we pray in a way that miracles will happen in our lives as well? And I thought of a couple of simple things. Of course, we need to have faith. But to have faith, we need simplicity. We need to have a heart of a child. The children, they fully trust their parents and they leave themselves in their hands. So if we were to trust God with all our heart and with all our simplicity as a child, our prayers will be heard. But there is another thing as well. God listens when we are in pain. When our heart hurts, he listens. He could not ignore the prayers of a father who lost his daughter, Iairos. He listened and he performed a miracle. Sometimes we pray for things or our heart desires things that we don't even know, we're not even aware of what we truly and deeply want. This is what the Apostle told us today. Apostle Paul was a persecutor of the faith. He was going to actually captivate the Christians in Damascus. But on the way, he had a revelation. Jesus appeared to him and his life changed. Totally. Why? Because Jesus responded to the desire of his heart, which Apostle Paul was not even aware of. He had a deep desire in his heart to serve God, but he was doing it the wrong way. But Jesus responded to him and not only gave him what his heart wanted, but he revealed to him what his heart wanted. So if we have simplicity, And if we pray with all our heart, our prayers will also be heard.